Hello everyone. Today I am going to make a very basic typography t-shirt design because I wanted to make some basic designs also for beginners. So if you search like this, you will find lots of quotes like this, and these are really good inspirations of for designs. Like you can see here on here, good things like the same is still in different categories some kind of these colorful designs so this is what i am going to make in this video some vibrant color designs you can search on google like vibrant colors you will find these colors so i am going to use this text as the design here i am not going to use any kind of vector works for this design i want to just keep it all simple and basic designs so for this one here this is my first focus text good things good then things come to then this come will be another focus point this hustle this hustle is the main focus point of my design but i will create a like you can see i have six part of this text so i'm just going to create a flow here like this one will be the focus point this one will be regular this is focus this is regular something like that so let's start the process First step is you need to have some basic idea about the fonts because font is the most important part of a design. If you are choosing a wrong style of font, then it can like a very good design can destroy it by selecting a wrong font. So I'm going to first of all making this a focus point. So I'm going to use a bold kind of font for this one here. So let's maybe use Death. This this one is a good font, bold and also. Okay, let me show you the font name here. You can see this is the font name. So whatever font I am use, I will use here. I will give you the name like this. So for this things one, this things one, I am going to make it very simple, but covering this area. So maybe for. Any door, any door is a good font. You can use that. Something like this. I want it to overlap my good text like that, just a little bit. Then for this one here, this cam will be my another focus point. Just like this. Good things come, and this one also should overlap the things text like this. That is good. Let's align them. Now for this one, to those who hustle. So I need to use some kind of two three font styles here not everything in same style so let's select this one here I'm going to use another font called go bold that font is good you can see this is bold and also good looking font this is a slab serif this is a sans serif so that is good to those who hustle so in this area I am using one bold font one descript font then another bold font but for this area I am going to use maybe this any door font again to those then this who I am going to select this that font style just like that then this hustle this hustle is my main focus point so I am using this font for the hustle okay this one I don't like so let's make it this font to those who okay let's just make it like something like this i don't want to create three line for this area that is good okay so for this area here as you can see i am planning to make something like this this hustle text is my focus point and i will add a source to the text like this so that's why i want to make it a script like font but for this area then i need to use something like maybe this font but in a smaller size just like this just like this so that is good now for this one here I am going to select all of them and align them center wise like this then I am going to right click and break the fonts because okay before breaking the font sorry I am going to show you the font names here this is any door as you can see this font have some inbuilt source if it like that that is good 
then for this one here okay so this one is basically go bold you can find this font on google so this is the three font i'm using in this design so that is good now once i have i can always keep a copy to avoid any kind of if i need any changes in the future i can do that so right now i am selecting everything align them center wise but first step is make sure that my wide of my text are same and that will give it a boxy kind of look okay let's select this one just align it with the text then i'm selecting my this text now basically what i am doing here is i am just making a very basic t-shirt design but i will try to add some effect on my text okay that's a shape maybe passing by so that's good that's the sheep horn okay so this is the position of my text i'm aligning them again to make sure that it's in complete center point so i'm selecting this text as this text is overlapping my this good and come text so first step is select this good and come make them a group then i'm going to select my this things text okay thank you buddy so go to object path and then offset path just a little bit 10 pixel is good let's press ok then cut ctrl x okay i always forget about this anyway so i am selecting this good and come text group here then open the transparency like this paste in front ctrl f so it is just pasted in front of my those two text and it is creating this cutout effect as you can see we have some separate shapes inside the area because whatever we place inside the transparency in black it will make that area transparent so that's the main point of the transparency that is good now for this one here this is not overlapping with anything so i want to make this part overlap my hustle text just a little bit then I am selecting this one, that text, go to offset path, ok turn on the preview, 10 pixel is good, let's cut it, now if I select the text, open the transparency, press ctrl f, it is going to look like this, ok I don't like that, so select all of it, erase it, click here, now select the hustle text, maybe just bring that a bit down that's good now this is the very basic design here as you can see good things comes to those who hustle so we can create now some effect for our text here like if you take a look in these designs this kind of water drop effect or something like this effect we can create that so let's first of all make a just a little rectangle like this very smaller in size press shift x for convert into a stroke and 10 pixel stroke is good now i am selecting my add anchor point tool then click on the center point one and here one then i am going to select my press a for my direct selection tool if i select this one i can bring that come on okay i am pressing five times left then press five times right that will make it exact same position that curves so i'm going to select this one here maybe make it a bit smaller that is good go to effect dissolve and transform then click on this twist it is going to make it twisted like this you have seen maybe this kind of effect on many designs but this is the way of making it so i'm selecting it maybe make it a bit smaller just to fit inside these areas now you can place of course place some text inside this but i'm just going to make use them as a decorative element of my graphic here so no text inside that that is good let's go to ellipse i'm going to make a oval kind of not oval this kind of ellipse like this not very long not very short and not very circular so like this now select that go to okay maybe a bit longer i should make it just like this that's good 
now go open your brush panel then go to click on this new brush icon select art brush okay then make so that is good now we have a brush like that so i'm going to show you how to make those kind of effect like the water drop effect or whatever that is so i'm going to select first of all is use my curvature tool take it then if i click something like this one click then one click here it will define the direction i can make it like this but as you can see it is in fill color if i press shift x it is going to convert into a stroke so that is good now i am pressing esc on my keyboard to break that point now if i click here one click here one click here esc again something like this and esc again so that is good now if i select my these strokes i can click on this brush icon it is going to fill that with that custom brush we just created so this is maybe looking a bit selecting <coughs> selecting my direct selection tool to make it smaller like this any way you like you can do that you can make different different custom shapes with those but i'm just going to make it something like this so that is good now select them so i can select this three then I can bring them on this area. I can rotate their position like this. Maybe a bit smaller in size because I want to keep everything inside my this boundary area. Pressing Ctrl R for the ruler tool. Now if I place it like this. Okay, I can take one from this side also. Just like this. Then I can select this three. This is... I maybe showed this in one of my previous video but that's I'm getting some new visitors now so I thought to make a basic simple typography t-shirt design because I wanted to make one video for today I didn't make one yesterday because I was in some of my personal work so just like this five star five star is always the things i want to make because that's define the quality if it is good or bad so something like this that is not a problem now for this text we can create some other styles for this this takes also some effect for the text if i select my this okay before that let's make a make another custom brush here okay let's create a star like this then if i make a copy like this just a little space between them then keep pressing ctrl d this is going to make it make some copies like this make them smaller create a custom brush art brush okay okay again you can see now we have another brush there so if i just make it something like if i select this o from here then i can go to open that transparency for it just like this then if i take my curvature tool or any tool like a pen tool no problem make sure that you have a strokes one on so if i create a line like this then i can simply drag that on this side then select this two line go to brush preset click on this star icons it is going to look like that so this is maybe looking a bit smaller than the text white so let's make it okay sorry for that i need to first of all make sure that as you can see these stars i forget to show it should be the same wide or same size bigger However, I want it to be this is very smaller than my text white so if I make it something like this it is big enough for the wide of the text here so I need to before making a custom brush I need to adjust the size here then go to brush new brush then click ok so that is going to make give me another brush or maybe just erase some of the parts here select them again go to brush alt brush ok ok so now i have i have three brush i can use them for different text or 
length so i'm selecting this one as i open the transparency i can select coincide that take pen tool make sure your stroke is on then go to then make a stroke like that copy one here select them both go to brush and then experiment with the stars you can see this star is looking good so that is the thing i am selecting these two then aligning them center wise so that is good now we can do the same for other letters here like whatever we want to do here let's maybe make one ellipse here so a smaller ellipse here then make a copy here this one should be a bit bigger not that much a little bigger then select this one then copy it in the exact same place then select this three make them align them center wise then maybe okay select them again go to object blend and then make it is going to make a blend like this but i want to make some modifications here so if i double click on this blend tool it is going to give me the, this option then check the preview box go to a specified steps then i can like define the how many steps i want to be here so it is looking like this as you can see it is not looking very good but i think 10 step is good so let's click ok now this is not looking very good and we need to fix that and for fixing that go to eraser tool and then scissor tool if i click on this center anchor point okay sorry for that i need to make sure i am clicking on this exactly center point okay so that is not working like that let's take our knife tool make a cut there okay sorry not like that okay sorry guys this is not working like this so let's not worry about that let's create one here then just make another one a bigger one here little bigger this one should be a bit smaller select this two align them center wise click on this blend tool then one click here then another click here it is going to perfectly blend then double click go to a specified steps give you one nine steps maybe a bit bigger then just create something like okay eight steps is good click ok go to object expand expand this and then as you can see these are small shapes if i select them all i can simply click on this option horizontal distribute space it is going to distribute the space between them in same size so that is good now for this one the effect i wanted to create if i make their center position like this just like this i can simply rotate this one so i want to just match this middle ellipse with like both of them together it should be match like this now if i double click i can select this one and it is so now i have a line like this let's make it a bit smaller just a bit to match the size of the stars then go to brush new brush art brush okay then okay so we have another brush here now for these areas here like this text here if i select like this i can open the transparency like for all of them together then go to your curvature tool create online like this just to follow the curve here or just maybe do it like with pen tool so if i click here then i can click here I can also press shift for making it like with angles and degrees and then if I press shift here and click then I can simply follow these curves just like this it should be match with my the upper direction then if I select that I can go to brush and then click like this then I can simply reduce the size of the stars sorry the ellipse like this to fill it in the in this style or then we can just select our this text here inside the transparency we created the ellipse brush we can select this one press b for brush tool we can move some we can draw some lines like this just some random lines 
it will just give it a look like okay the look we will <laughs> see later i'm just creating some rough lines like this maybe this one is looking good so let's select this one then i can simply replace that with the stars or the dots whatever i want just like this so this is just creating some effect for our text not just placing some random text just like this then open the transparency select your brush tool then select this brush that ellipse brush it is just to okay this is a bit bigger so let's make it smaller than right okay just like this maybe not like that like this that is good i am just i just want to create one part like this on every letter that will just give it a the look of the highlight here so maybe something like this this is just up to you guys how you want to do it you can use of course your pen tool if you want to make it a perfect line like this but it should be smaller so that is good i am not going to spend too much of your time now so let's create something that source for this area select your pen tool press shift x for make it a stroke now i want to create like one line here then one here then one here okay so i am not going to just make that regular kind of source i am just making a twist here so let's select your white tool shift w is the shortcut and make it bigger like this just like this then if i just press a for my direct selection tool i can select this anchor point then try to match it with my e here the end of the e that is good we will fix that area and this is how it is looking right now so let's keep it like this go to object expand then press shift e for eraser tool make it something like just like cut here okay it should not be like cross this ruler here so let's make it something like that is too much bigger so something like this that is good so this is now the position of my source here and i need to fix this area so i'm just going to select a a for the that selection tool and then i can modify that anchor point like this if you feel like that is too much you can always go back and do the rest of the modifications okay i don't need these elements right now i'm just going to select my this hassle text then if i select this source like this i can make them unite so they becomes one shape now if i select them go to transparency open the transparency like this now i am going to take my pen tool so i'm clicking here then here something like this maybe but in a stroke just like that then select the brush tool and make it look like that that is good now i want to sorry for that maybe in this area just to make it a highlighter point but this is too much bigger let's make it smaller just like that much so that is good if i am selecting this one then i can reduce the size this one should be a bit bigger because this area is bigger then like that that is good now i'm pressing b for b for the brush tool i can make it like that just like this this is just something it will take some time but i am doing this okay that is too much let's just draw online here <laughs> sorry for that i am just using my mouse here so it is looking like this maybe like this that is good now select this one i can use that but in a smaller size okay that is not looking very good okay guys so this is just i tried to fix those areas and this is how it is looking right now i'm ending this video here because i don't want to spend too much time here so i'm selecting everything and it is showing like there is fear and stroke both so go to object expand then expand again to make it complete one color then try to make it black white whatever color you want and if it is converting then it is 
good in position so i'm selecting this text here this good text let's select this yellow color for the good then selecting this calm text maybe this color or maybe this color maybe this darker one that's good now selecting these things to those that is good this hustle i'm going to make it yellow because my good is in yellow so if i select it like this then deselect that too then i am i have this to select it click on this pressing i for eyedropper then i can maybe take this red color for that area that is good now i need to select everything from here without this one then i am maybe okay maybe not that one too the just those stars make them something like this orange color that is good now select this one i want to keep the balance here so let's make it that color so that is the final design for this one here make them a group now if i take a background for my text just like this then cut paste in back so this is how it is looking right now now i think this color is not looking very good so i'm selecting that one go to the color panel making it brighter blue kind of things so that is good now if i select this shape here also press i for eyedropper and click here so it is going to pick that color so this is the easiest way of making it this kind of designs as you can see this is not looking very bad but but this is not that much hard to make this is just some basic typography work and you can really make some cool designs like this so i hope this one will give you some idea guys do not just go for hard working hard vector works try to make some cool typography designs this is also sales and this is sales the most so that's it guys thank you for watching my channel thank you for subscribing see you in the next video guys have a great time